Hello, popcorn junkie, junkie, junkies. Hello, junkie, junkie popcorns. And here we have the nanny die on Mother's Day. In the biggest hat. Happy Mother's Day, Mum. Pardon me, I'm burping. I'm so uh, sorry. Is that your thinking cap? No. All right, Mum. We're gonna. We've got a, a trailer. Right. We've got a trailer, and we're gonna react to it, and we're gonna give it some real. F we're gonna give it full layered analysis. We're gonna. We we're gonna get are. in there. We're gonna grapple go with on, it. Then, let's go. What is the point of a trailer? It's to um to um. Make your taste buds arrive. sparkle, sparkle, and for you to see Wet your, your head. So trailers are used Magic. to sell shit, and sometimes do a disservice to the project that they're selling. So yes. um, anyway, what one does is a lot of people get really hot under the collar. They're like, "Why are you reacting to this trailer if you haven't seen all the under there?" Well, a trailer is a trailer, and, and presumably they they assume that most people watching them have no clue what's going on. So anyway. So we're going to react to a trailer for something called Fallout. Fallout is a new series that's coming, I believe, to Amazon Prime. Oh, OK. It's yet another addition to the uh, console game adaptation uh, franchise. The Last of Us being one. You enjoyed oh, The, the Last, Last of Us. Us. Uh, that film that I think was at the top of your top ten, wasn't it, last year? Super Mario Brothers. That was in there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah. yeah, Borderlands is coming. No, anyway, this this isn't a, this is a so this is a this is a film inspired by a a whole sort of role playing franchise thing. But I would argue that I think now what we're in is that we're in the territory of superheroes had their moment. It doesn't mean they're going to go away completely. No, I think we're going to get sort of those you know edgier ones like Joker, Batman, all that. Yeah, but I think the suit the 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 console game transfer. You know, we've got Minecraft coming, for example. I mean, oh. I, I have to confess, I'm not entirely convinced by that one either. Um, but anyway, so this is called Fallout. What I like about this, what draws me in on this this film is the idea that uh, this person is in it who I really have a lot of time for what's his name Walton Goggins do you know Walton Goggins you made it that up no Walton Goggins not the one from the Can Brothers movies I think yes, I think he was in that in that in that Western one, but he was also in um, uh, the Hateful Eight with uh, yeah, he's the one by Tarantino. Yeah, no, I really like and he him. plays a ghoul. And he's I also, got a great face. Yeah, absolutely. And this comes his from face the, is like his name, Goggins. Yeah, he looks like a Walter Goggins. <laughs> he does, yeah. Walter Goggins. I want to say Goggins. Walter Walton Goggins. Not yeah, Walter, Goggins. Yeah. He looks like name. his name. He does. But he makes he does good villainy. Yeah, and he must he's, choose his films because he's only ever in sort of. Well, he's always films. cast as a stubbly cowboy yeah or in the background yeah yeah, yeah. No, you're right anyway so he's in this he's a mutated gunslinger that's what he plays oh, in this yeah gunslinger. anyway so this is apocalyptic it's a smashed up world but it's cr from the creators of westworld you know that series oh. that we had on scott Atlantic. and one of the creators of this uh, says i love this he says just as mash the movie gets to talk about vietnam through the lens of the korean war we get to talk about the mess we're in now through the lens of what if everybody just gets on with it and destroys the fucking world Whoa. So let's check it out, shall we? Yeah. I'm quite excited about this. I think this could be fun. I, Borderlands didn't really do it for me, but this could. Um, have you ever played a computer game in your life, Mum? No. Do you feel like you've missed out? No. no. I, I think you have. Uh, I know I haven't. Oh, okay, well, that's very clear. <gasps> Hello there. I'm here to show you a wonderful place. That's him. Oh, yeah, it is. A veritable Camelot. The nuclear age. Not made by God Almighty, but the working man. Is that common folk? You can be a hero by purchasing a residence and a vault tech vault today. Because if the worst should happen tomorrow, the world is gonna need you to build a better day after. Oh wow, it looks good. Santa Monica Pier. <gasps> The mission of the vaults should be important to everyone. To come up to the surface one day and restart civilization. You saw what's happened in the last 200 years? Holy shit. It's you, Mom. You're an actual it's vault dweller. I am. <laughs> <laughs> I thought all you dipshits were dead. It isn't like the vault out there. It's big. Oh, oh that's him. Oh, yeah. In a rough week, practically every person I've met out here has tried to kill me. I'm simply going to harvest your organs. Oh. Oh, yeah. You need to go home. You come from a world of rules, of laws. You should not be alone. Why did you join the Brotherhood? 
to hurt the people who hurt me. Hey, much stage plane up here, Volpe. Oh. Oh. Well, now that is a very small drop <laughs> and a very, very large bucket of drugs. Is this Look called? out at this wasteland. Looks like chaos. But there's always somebody behind the wheel. Save the world, they just they disagree on how. There you are, you little killer. <laughs> wow. I think that looks good. Yeah, it looks fantastic. I have to say, the Walter Goggins isn't the Walter Goggins I thought he was. Is it not? No. Who no. are Walton Goggins? Walter Goggins. Walton. Walton Goggins. Walton Goggins. Walton Goggins. We've got that, we've got that, Mum. I think they were doing an awful lot there. There yeah. was an, an enormous amount of world building. Did you feel it? Yeah, absolutely. You know, in terms of the, like the apocalypse, there's the vault people that have come yes, up from beneath. Yes, yes, Would yes. you want to survive an apocalypse? Yeah, there's the people in the sea. Would you want to survive oh, an apocalypse? would I want to? Yeah. No. Why? Because... There wouldn't be a lot up there. It would be too hard. Be no cinemas. Well, not just that. I mean, it's difficult enough getting to the shops as it is. Yeah, yeah true. I, I was, it's funny, I was getting that sort of Westworld. I was also getting that whole WandaVision, Pleasantville kind of through a monitor. Is this a TV show? Very show much of... Pleasantville or Truman Show, yeah, absolutely. Exactly, and I, I can't get too much of that. No, I can't use I, it. It's almost like a cultural feedback, Yeah, isn't it? Yeah. Quite literally with the screen. He looks good. He looks good. I mean, I suppose I find that all the stuff suiting up and going out, I find that, but that's the kind of, I suppose that's the computer game. I felt that was more successful than Borderlands, the trailer that landed recently for the Kate Blanchett film, which is doing a similar sort of thing. And uh, I yeah. wonder whether, what, what uh, I think Amazon Prime have got a little bit of a skip in their step because they have had such success with the boys. Though I have to confess, I've faded away from the boys, which is that wonderful counterintuitive yeah, no, no, superhero series. But uh, they seem to be trying to corner that market of sort of... Extreme. Yeah, but deeply ironic and sort yeah, of taking the piss yeah, out of its own yeah, self. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. But I, I, I've had some yeah, that. Yeah, no, no, no. I should watch it because of that trailer. Oh, the trailer, the trailer has, has done good.